close that game out there and be in a position to, to win that game. Yeah, uh, I thought we were pretty gutsy, uh, especially in the second half again, um, similar to the other night. Just made a lot of physical plays, really good rim protection plays. Um, Mavidi had a huge block there. Trey took a huge charge. We were contesting everything around the rim. I thought Baisley and uh, Dort again on McCollum and Simons um, were really, really good. Um, and, you know, obviously good situations down the stretch, good situation for us to learn from because um, we could have executed a lot of those things a little better and we did a lot of good things to close the game. But, um, you know, really good competitive level again. What did you think of the second unit? You know, Kenridge, Mike, Ty, all of those guys really all, all in double figures, just what they brought to the game tonight. Yeah, I thought, you know, in the, to start the game, we were just a little bit frantic. Uh, I didn't think, I thought we held it a little more than we were the other night. Um, the ball wasn't moving with the same rhythm that we've been moving it. And when those guys came in the game, it kind of got that started. And then we continued that throughout the game. I thought the ball really moved tonight. Um, we had 24 assists on only 33 made field goals. We shot below 40% from the floor. Um, and so most of our made shots were assisted, and I thought a lot of good looks were assisted too. Um, so I thought, and I thought those guys kind of started that for us, and then we continued it throughout the rest of the 48. Playing without a score like Shea, is that almost how you have to play offensively, those assist numbers you just? Yeah, and we'd like to play like that with Shea. Yeah. You know, I think um, when the ball's ahead of the defense, you know, with the way the teams uh, load up and with the way the teams commit to the ball, I think when you play that style, it benefits everybody. And so, um, you know, certainly it's it's a huge um, emphasis without him. But I think Shea benefits from that. And I think a lot of January, um, you know, he was way more decisive and quicker with his decisions. And I thought, you know, he and the rest of the team was benefiting from that. So like I've said before, you know, we've won a couple of close ones here, but um, we've been kind of building towards this stylistically for a good six weeks now. Mamadi played 30 minutes tonight. You yep. mentioned some of the defensive plays. He had a couple of clutch late free throws. Yep. What would you think of his game? Really good. You know, Nurkic is a load. He's a really, really big physical. It's hard to keep off the glass. He's hard to keep off his spots. He's got great hands. He's a great finisher. Uh, and so you got to really be first to contact with him, and it takes a lot of physicality to deal with him. And I thought Mamadi was outstanding on him. You know, I thought uh, big time rebounds and traffic, big time physicality plays, good rim protection, even the ones that he didn't block. I thought he altered a couple shots around the rim tonight. I thought he was really impressive. Anybody else in the room? All right, we got one on the Zoom coach, Christos Saltas. Go ahead with your question, Christos. Hey, coach, congratulations on the win, first of all. Thank you. Uh, for you guys, the, the way that you close the game tonight and the way that, uh, the way that you respond and they react during the, the last five minutes of the game, what did it shows for you personally, Coach? I mean, well, we got uh, Josh and Trey out there. Those guys are rookies. We got Mamadi out there. He's very limited NBA experience. And even Lou and Bays are, are still, you know, younger players, even though they've been in a lot of those situations already in their young careers. But it's good experience for us in a situational game like that. Um, where it gets close and it becomes a possession game, you got to get into offense, execute offense. Um, you got to, you know, be physical and, and take them out of their stuff defensively. And then down the stretch, there, getting the ball in bounds, guarding their side out stuff. Uh, I thought they ran a really, really good play there at the end and got themselves a great look. You know, there's lessons we can learn from that. So a lot of teaching in the games tonight. And like I've said before, we've played a lot of these close games. A lot of January, we lost a lot of close games and we learned. Uh, through these situations, and I think tonight's just another example of, um, you know, good execution, not perfect things we can learn from, and we got to just keep, keep at it.